Okay, how do, how do I approach the subject del delicately, chat? Jim, Jimothy Medeker, our beloved father on the internet, has suffered a... Already <laughs> fucked up. I'm going to piss people off so much. If you haven't heard, Jim had a heart attack. Um, his condition has apparently worsened. I don't know why he's had a heart attack. People have speculated that uh, there are perhaps some uh, experimental medications that he took in the last couple of years that may have contributed to his heart attack. However, he did have a heart attack. He did go to the hospital. He posted some papers that showed that uh, um, he was in medical critical care, uh, critical condition because of his heart attack. So shit's pretty rough. Uh, it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. And it's, it's, it's just weird. Cause it's like, it's it's such a long like his condition is worsening like over time so it's like in, increasingly uh harsher his his predicament and it's just like i don't know it's kind of fucked up it's 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 there's like a weird distinction i don't know how to phrase it without sounding like uncaring or something but when you wake up and you hear that someone is dead it's like very different than when someone is like actively in in a medical condition their condition is just deteriorating over time you know what i mean so he has hyperparathyroidism which his doctors have not diagnosed yet well if you have diagnosed him as hyper having hyperparathyroidism i mean i don't know people <laughs> A lot of people suggest that he has certain conditions, but um, I'm assuming that he's been tested for everything at this point. Ralph is going to outlive Jim frowny face. That's that's a very that's very mean. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to, to to let people know. I don't really have any like funny jokes to crack about Jim having a fucking heart attack. Um, I guess I'll read his post about it. So I don't have to say anything in my own. Since Mersh loved my cancer so much, I decided to step it up a notch. Really had to take it to the next level, you know. And that's the documentation with the heart attack. He says, cardiologist was pretty pointed that I need to stop salt intake, stop drinking soda, and quit smoking. So they prescribed the patch to help with that. Oh, is he actually going to try to... Um, hey, look. Have we ever seen a picture of Jim's handwriting before? I don't remember ever seeing his handwriting before. This is the first time that he's written on a piece of paper. Chat. Chat. Look. Frame this. Feed it into a machine algorithm and learn how he writes his letters. I need a complete alphabet, upper and lower case, from Jimothy Medeker before he dies so that we can replicate him in every way and continue forward. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't understand why he would quit smoking now. He was diagnosed with all this other shit and he decided to keep chain smoking on, on fucking, it's so dumb. That's like, that's like a really dumb thing. Like, how are you going to, how are you going to fucking, why even bother? Like, if you're just going to kill yourself by smoking when you have a serious condition, like why even go through the medical process at that point? Just if you're not going to even bother to quit smoking, like why waste people's time and shit? There are so many weird things that can come as a result of having like a continuous tar intake into your lungs. It, it smoking worsens your health in every way, shape, and form, and you're not going to stop. I was like, I don't know. It just feels like if you're not going to make any effort to improve your condition it feels a little bit insulting to the medical staff that are taking care of you and that's probably not a people think it's mean to say but like it want, you, you literally want people to cure your cancer but you can't stop smoking to give them a chance at maybe at your condition conditioning not worsening like uh, that's that's frustrating chat uh, it says, it's always real. I just found it funny to let Merce and others go on about it. I could have just posted the diagnosis for my medical app, but Merce was so convinced. Um, health issues on his app. Cat catanus B-cell lymphoma. 
Hashimoto's thyroiditis, hypertension, vertebral artery dissection, pulmonary nodules, congenital spinal stenosis of lumbar region, sensory neural hearing loss of right ear with unrestricted hearing of left ear, congenital spinal stenosis of lumbar region, sensory near oh, oh, there's more at the bottom, sorry. Uh, immunoglobin subclass of deficiency. Long-term current use of systematic systemic steroids. Osteoporosis with current pathological fracture. Why does he have osteoporosis? Nigga, you gotta drink your milk. You <laughs> nigga, your bones is weak. You need to drink some milk. Maybe that's why he was always into locales. He needed that milk for his for his feeble bones. Um, inflammatory arthritis and absence of sensation. Oh, I relate with that chat. I'm numb all over. Uh, ain't even the half of it narrowly avoided kidney stone surgery, but being able to pass it then had to deal with four. I don't want to hear about you peeing out stones, bro. With four broken ribs caused by fragility fractures, been a real fun couple of fucking months. Fragility fractures caused by osteo, which was more than likely caused by having to take long term steroids to deal with autoimmunes. Though the amount of them happening all at once is pure shit luck. And he has to go back in for more stents. They did most acute blockage, which hit 90% on his right side. It's something about the left side. Widowmaker being at 80%. They want me back in with the next few weeks. Yeah, I would definitely suggest not smoking. That would, uh, help with the situation oh no hot wheels shit. that's mean <laughs> yeah his pea stones dude he should sell his kidney stone if he were to sell his kidney stone um there's at least brian dunn would probably shit out like at least twenty thousand dollars of medical expenses for a kidney stone of of jim medicare's and we'll put that in the museum that we're gonna build We'll put in my uh, my vodka, um, some pictures of my potato harvest, uh, a collection of all his handwritings that we've fed that we've turned into a font, um, that we've forced Hot Wheels at gunpoint to turn into a digital font so that people can download it, and then we'll make a um, we'll put his kidney stone there in the museum, and then we need to. Uh, program machine learning to replicate his voice perfectly and we'll make we'll make a, a vtuber avatar out of his uh his scout tf2 like fa faceless thing and we'll we'll just set the, we'll set this up we'll just have this all ready to go we'll buy 14 branchland court and we'll turn it into a museum and we'll have this be an exhibit in one of the rooms and uh we'll move it to north dakota so that i can make that museum a <laughs> part of a uh, part of the North Dakota economy and I can set that up and get a bank account. This is my long, this is my thousand year plan to turn the, the Kiwi farms into a profitable entity. And it, what I'm saying is it all starts with Jim Medicare giving me his kidney stones so that I can begin this humble collection into a prosperous museum. Oh, well. good luck with that. Stop smoking. Stop being a retard. He's he's just a, he's so much of a doomer that he doesn't want to take care of himself because he's already well already going to die. And then he finds out that uh, actually you don't want these complications that come with smoking in your condition. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.